Well, here's another batch of videos for you guys to enjoy, and um, hopefully everyone's having a good holiday season. I just have one request from everybody, is I'm thinking about getting a haircut, and uh, I want it like this. So if you guys, um, I don't know if you have any suggestions or something, you guys are welcome to point me to a link or, or whatever, just send me a message of some hairstyle. I'm thinking about getting a haircut um, probably after New Year's. Something cool, something different. All right, enjoy. Uh, Sarah from Taos, New Mexico writes, Dear Michael Moore, is Santa Claus real? Uh, well, Sarah, Santa Claus is real. He's as real as I am, and uh, you are. And I I'm assuming you are real. Um, I was going to save this until I was President of the United States, but I think now is a good time to announce that I will be the Mall Santa for Flint, Michigan, and I uh, plan to give out plenty of DVD copies of Sicko, and I encourage everyone to watch it and uh, to write letters to your senators and your lawmakers so that we can impeach President Bush. And uh, that way I'll be one step closer to becoming President of the United States. And uh, I think Santa fits me perfectly. And as you can see, Sarah, I am very real. Ho, ho, ho. Watch Sicko. Dear Kermit the Frog, I heard you were an extra in Back to the Future. Did you develop a Doc Brown impression as good as Piotr? Write Zach from SLC. Yes, I did. I developed the best impression of Doc Brown, and I, I, I can't wait to show you. Are you ready? Are you ready? I said, are you ready? I... I I can't hear you. Uh, because it's pre recorded. All right. Um, <clears throat> Great Scott Marty, look behind you. It's a, uh, it's a lamp. Um, a great Scott Marty, look in front of you. It's a, um, uh, a, uh, a computer. Great Scott, look Marty, it's a, a ceiling, it's a floor, it's a... Uh, it's someone controlling my destiny, oh no! I... Uh, oh god, I... Oh no, I'm naked! Oh. Dear Tim Curry, what makes you such a delicious villain, writes Carol from New York? Have you ever noticed my last name, Curry? It's curry. Oh, and what is curry? It's delicious. You can put it on noodles, rice, or your favorite vegetable. Spicy if you like it that way, but always delicious. Dear yeah, Emperor Palpatine, have you ever tried cooking food with false lightning? Writes Kip from Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have tried. But I overcook all my meals. And I have no one to cook for. It's very lonely here in space. Not Vader can eat it. He doesn't like anything I do for him. Never appreciates it. Though I may suggest something for you. Stick a pot pie outside your window on a stormy lightning day and you will have the best baked pie you've ever tasted. I guarantee it. Al Pacino, what do you think of road rules, writes Christopher from New Hampshire. I don't like road rules because you have to follow them. And I don't follow rules. In fact, I never read the scripts. Always directors hand me things like a script or notes. I don't read them. 
Personally, I don't read anything because I'm blind. And that didn't work too well on my driver's test because there was a bunch of rules. And apparently you have to be able to see. And that didn't work out. I still pass, though, because when you threaten someone with a gun, you can get away with anything. Dear Shrek, what's your favorite peanut butter? Crunchy or creamy, writes Movie Maker 85 from Idaho. I'd have to say that I like crunchy. Ooh, really good. Crunchy's great, but it's hard to find crunchy peanut butter when you're shopping with someone like Donkey. He always buys the creamy kind. It's disgusting. I mean, it feels weird. I prefer to chew on crunchy nuts. Skewed rat, now that's crunchy. Dear Doc Brown, can you please tell me what types of things I can do to attract a man of science? Sincerely, Kelly. Oh, Kelly, well, that's quite simple. All it is is chemistry. That's all you need. Knowledge of chemistry, not chemistry between two people. No, no. you need to be very, very conscious of the, the uh, all the chemical properties of nature, and you need to impress a man of science by knowing a lot of math, because... Nothing turns a man on than women doing their taxes. Oh, I tell you, if I saw a woman just come in a room and start typing on a typewriter, I, oh, turns me off. But when I see her with a calculator, great Scott!